Hi there, Lorraine here from Knits on Main, and I want to show you the intarsia method from the knit side. I've got my color blocks here, my gray on the right, my white on the left, and I'm going to knit across in the gray and change over to the white and knit the rest of that row using the intarsia method. And this is for the Poncho Liberté pattern. <coughs> which um, I will leave the link in the video. But here we go, we're gonna knit with the gray. I've got seven stitches of gray in the smaller block of color. So there's seven stitches of gray. And I'm just going to continue as if to knit. Insert your right hand needle Take your gray yarn, just move it over to the left, hold on to it, and just pick up that white yarn, which is just waiting there for you from underneath the gray, and begin knitting with it. And that is all there is to it. Knit a couple of stitches, give that gray yarn a little tug, the old yarn, just to make sure the tension is correct and continue knitting. So I've just completed oh, the color change using the intarsia method. And let me finish knitting here and I'll show you what the row looks like. It's basically the same method whether you're knitting or purling with intarsia. It's move the old color, which was the yarn you were working with, to the left and bring the new color up from underneath. So there you have it. Gray, white, and as you can see it's a really nice neat join. There's no holes and from the back side the white, the gray, caught up in that intarsia stitch right there, and neat and clean, excellent method, fun to do. Enjoy! Thanks!